This is a half bale HD one inch. So you can see the netting's one inch. There's a D ring at both ends of the spine there. You can hang it from each. It's got one string. You can clip it onto the D ring or hang it from there. But you just put the hay in and then tighten it up. This one is a HD one and a half inch net. And it is got also the D ring at both ends. It's very long. And the top of this one, I had just taken the clip off and then tied it into a ring. And so now I just tighten it up like that and loop it and uh, hang it from either one of these or to mine. Okay, so this is the big net. The top is just a drawstring, so it's a complete loop. And all I do is tighten it up and then I do a series of slip knots in it like this. Just keep repeating the slip knots. Kind of, if you crochet, it's like crocheting. So you'd make these knots. Then you just tuck that remainder in your net so that they don't get caught on anything. And then what you can do is throw this whole thing on the ground full of hay, or you can hang it by a clip. And if they have shoes, tie it above their chest so that they don't get their shoes caught in it. And then when it's empty, you just go fishing for the line like that and then you find the end that you were looping and it just comes undone like that. All right, and then you can refill it. Now the other one, people have seen that it comes like this. So the top is still um, like that, except there's one string with a snap on it. Now people do a whole bunch of different things what I do is sometimes take the snap off and make it an enclosed loop so I can do what I just did. Or you can do exactly what I just did, kind of loop it a bunch of times so that it's, it's locked shut. Tuck that in, because the problem is if you pull on this, the way I do it, it undoes. So what I do is make another, uh, length of like this and then I loop this twine okay loop it so that nobody can get caught in it okay tuck this in your bay your net okay so now what you have is a string that will not pull off and you can loop this around your stall click it to this or you could just jam it all in your net and hang it upside down by this D ring. So there's a lot of different options and I will show you um, how I do it in the stalls when you, if you buy your own, uh, own frame and you can uh, hang your net like that and it's really easy to fill, but it's another cost, but it saves a lot of time. So that's it. Okay, this is it installed with hay in it. And all you do is flip that open, pull it down. You fill it. That's it. This is another type of hay hanger. So this is a half net, one and a half inch. And it attaches with these uh, basketball hoop kind of holders. It's a little different insulation. The other hay net was a slide on and these are individually hooked. The difference with this one is very different the way you attach or fill it. So you have to slide it all the way up, out, and then it hangs like that. You can fill it easily, but then this has to get united perfectly when you lift it. So for example, you lift it and slide it down and you have to hold it full of hay until it perfectly lines up. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit harder. We only have one of these because we don't like it as much, but that's the one that I see most commonly at uh, tax stores and whatnot.
So that's the other option.